The autumnal hues cascading across the landscape here in West Lafayette, Indiana. An absolutely gorgeous day for college football. Number nine, Michigan against Purdue. Hello, everybody. The Wolverines take over on the 25-yard line. Edwards in motion. Chris Perry running hard. Broke one tackle, brought down at the 32-yard line by Stuart Schweigert. And Richmond, third down and two. Edwards in motion. Navarre to pass. Completes it to Askew. Who tiptoes down the sideline all the way down to the 40-yard line. Brought down finally by Kudavides. Leading receiver, and you see him take advantage right here. B.J. Askew is a fullback. They're going to bring Braylon Edwards in, curl him, send Askew to the flat, and B.J. Askew comes up with really a great catch right here, Mark, and turns it upfield. Meanwhile, something the Purdue defense is very much aware of as well. Second down and 10, Askew to lone back. Purdue coming with a blitz off the edge, and Askew on the screen. B.J. Askew. First down, Wolverines at the 16-yard line. So far in the ball game. But the Wolverines driving, courtesy of a couple of key plays by Navarre and Askew. Here's Chris Perry. Perry, the ball carrier. Perry is brought down at the 13-yard line by strong safety of Purdue all season long. It's really hurt them. Second and seven, backs out of the eye for Michigan. Navarre on the play fake. He's going to take off. You won't see it happen that frequently, but Navarre has a first down inside the five. Tackled by Antoine Rogers. He'll the football until he gets under 265 pounds, Mark. Might never see it happen. Here's Askew. Touchdown, Wolverines. The versatility of B.J. Askew paying dividends for the Wolverines. And Michigan gets on the scoreboard first. Mark, we look at the touchdown. Michigan's base play is the power off tackle. They run that considerably more than they run any play in their offense. And they try to run it off tackle. Purdue spills the ball outside. The problem, no one to spill the football to. Here on the sidelines, B.J. Askew wearing several hats today. Slides into the end zone untouched. 7-0 when we come back go with some defensive personnel on the field. Sean Phillips. Number 15 and Goldsbury, number 44. The up back. Boyd is the tailback and it's a waggle. Kirsch runs into the end zone, outrunning Stevens for the touchdown. Baron Lachevich, a young man from Bosnia. Still struggling. One of his last seven field goals. This is B.J. Askew breaking one for the first down out to the 39-yard line. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Tied at seven. Michigan now in their hurry-up offense. The bar out of the shotgun. Complete to Bellamy. Runs for the sidelines of the first down right at the marker. And pushed out by Rogers. <laughs> Michigan trying to at least get into field goal range. The bar. That's who we talked about. Braylon Edwards making the catch at the 27-yard line. The big Mark, play. he's back. Braylon Edwards, big, tall, athletic receiver, going up the top on Jack Reeves. Obviously, just a six-foot-four receiver. Off the edge, a little pressure, but the pass complete. That's Bellamy once again. Loves the crossing route right here. Look for the receiver to come across the field, Ronald Bellamy. Navarre out to Edwards, complete, right at the first down marker, where he's marked down at the 17. And the clock stops now with eight seconds to go in the first half. Larry Johnson's a great player, and I don't mean to be sarcastic, but Northwestern has turned a lot of tailbacks into uh, 
a career rushing leader is a career rushing day. So he's been hopeless. <laughs> this punt going to be down at the 38-yard line. 38-yard line. First down and 10. Chris Perry back in a tailback. Askew offset out of the eye. Perry busting one over the left side. And a strong, authoritative run before finally being brought down by the free safety. Years ago, the grass was so high here that it was like a pasture. But Joe Tillers cut that grass down a little bit. Well, they're getting a little faster. This is Perry showing a little bit of burst and speed down to the 20, actually the 31-yard line. Special teams. Get a chance to see that game tomorrow, actually next week. Right here at noon Eastern on ESPN. Navarre back to pass. Has Edwards. Touchdown, Michigan. you got to keep an eye on number 80. Michigan able to run the football a little bit. Once again, sets up the play action pass. Braylon Edwards on the post just beats Jacques Reeves to the inside. Michigan coming with a little pressure. Complete to Stanford, still on his feet. Touchdown, Purdue! OK State up by 10. All right, Reese the bar back to pass on the screen. This one well read by the defense. The tight end, Jock Root, Braylon Edwards, and also Ronald Bellamy. A lot of weapons out there. But for Braylon Edwards, back underneath. Came in motion. Navarre got it off to Askew. And that's a tremendous safety valve. Askew with the first down at the Purdue 36. Tackled by Stuart Schweiger. B.J. Askew in the game in the one-back set for protection. Just leaks out as a little safety valve. Good decision by John Navarre. Critical right now for Purdue's defense to rise up. You sense this would be on the field, but I notice Braylon Edwards nor Ronald Bellamy are in the game right now. That's Askew in motion. The reverse is number 27, Calvin Bell. Got room, got Navarre with a block. Touchdown, Michigan. A little trickery will do you a little good. Calvin Bell got a nice block from his quarterback, John Navarre. This is what drives coaches crazy. Broxback comes with the corner fire. When you come as a corner on a fire, you're responsible for the deepest and the widest containing the football. For some reason, the corner blitzes down inside, gives up contain, and you see Calvin Bell with John Navarre out in front of him leading the way for the touchdown. That could have been a huge play right there. Actually, it was Antoine Rogers on the corner blitz. It could have been a negative play against Michigan. Instead, Bell takes it the distance for the score, and now we have a new quarterback in for off Purdue. For Michigan off the reverse. Neenberg missing the extra point. From elation to disappointment for Lloyd Carr, but, ooh, it's tough. 11 seconds on that clock when he went out of bounds. First and goal. Boyd, no doubt that time. Touchdown, Boilermakers. Michigan with its hands team on the field. The Wolverines recover it. It almost appeared as if a Purdue player touched it before about 10 yards. Should have been a penalty on that play right there because Purdue did touch that football before it went 10 yards. Cato June, part of the hands. Final score, 23-21 for Michigan. Coming up next, it's the Disney Golf Classic with Mike Tirico calling that one. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for Bob Davey and Holly Rowe and the rest of our talented ESPN crew. I'm Mark Jones. Have a good one.